Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to make math probability sentences. Now, when it comes to making math probability sentences, it really depends on what kind of scenario you want the reader to think about. Now, you can use some of the most common probability models, or you can even create your own, depending on how you want to uh, construct it. So, here are some illustrations, if you will. Now, if you want to think about flipping a coin, what you can say is, find the probability of flipping a coin once and getting heads. Some of these take a little bit lengthy to write, but the reader will understand where it is you're coming from. Now, you could say once, you can say twice, you know, etc. Or you can say instead of heads, you can even do tails. Now, coins are a pretty common model to use when it comes to finding probability. Now, you can also say find the probability of drawing a jack from a 52 card deck. Again, somewhat lengthy to write, but at least the reader knows exactly what it is that you're looking for. And then they'll know that since there's four jacks in a 52 card deck, they'll say 450 over 52 and reduce that to 1 13th. Now, if you don't want to use coins or jacks or cards for that matter, you can think about constructing your own, like you know, using M&Ms, using balls in a cup, you know, things like that, and then constructing it. It'll make writing the scenario a little longer, but at least if you have all the facts, the reader will know exactly what it is that you're looking for. So the possibilities are actually endless when it comes to writing these sentences. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and there's a couple of illustrations on how to write math probability sentences.